Hey, morning guys. So this is going to be, this video is going to be a little different. I recorded this reaction, um, when this song dropped immediately after this song dropped yesterday, because even though yesterday was rock day, um, you know me, if a particular artist that I cover drops, um, whether it be Joyner Lucas or Eminem or even one of my rock groups. If someone drops a song, I will immediately drop everything, literally, and I will cover that that artist's song, right? My reactors a leg up on me because they also covered the song immediately yesterday. However, I I decided not to post it because um I was not feeling well yesterday I woke up yesterday I just didn't I felt kind of blah you know how you feel when you're just not feeling good um so I I mean I posted I think two rock videos and then I lost my third one it was like as soon as I clicked it I had everything all set to go and then as soon as I changed it from public to private I mean from private to public public it disappeared like, it's gone. I have no record of it. I don't have my version of it anymore. Like, my, you know, I always keep my original taping so that way if I ever want to redo it, I have it. I don't have it. And it's not, it's not anywhere on YouTube. I have no idea where it is. It disappeared. Anyway, I taped this video um, that I'm talking about late in the afternoon. Um, I had a very high fever. I was not feeling well. And when it came to my final reaction of the video, the video is highly controversial anyway, but this artist is known for pushing the envelope and making controversial videos. I know that. It's probably one of the reasons why I dig him so much. But when it came to the end of the video, I literally had nothing to say. At least nothing good. And so I decided not to post it. We're speaking, of course, of Tom McDonald. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to play, I am reacting to my reaction video yesterday. I know it sounds a little strange, but that's what we're doing. We are reacting to my reaction video yesterday. I will tear my ass apart if I have to, and then I will give an honest reaction to the video. Make sense? Um, yes, I am going to roast my own reaction because I didn't, I know I didn't do a good job. And if I can't self-reflect, if I can't do any introspective and look at myself and see what I'm doing, then there's no room for growth. So that's what we're doing. After I do this, we will then start our home free day. Okay, guys. So... Here we go. This is J.L. Melrose reacting to Tom McDonald. Hey guys, um, I'm sorry to interrupt our rock day, but Tom McDonald has just dropped a new single um, called Straight White Male. And when new singles get dropped, um, we react to them. You know that's the policy. So here we go. Tom McDonald. Straight white male. Let's get it. Straight white male, hate myself. Mad that my skin's so pale. Got white privilege, so I cannot fail. The world told me I'm evil still. I break the law, but I escaped the jail. My diet only mayonnaise and kale. I went to school and I paid my taxes. I used to grammar, I'm bad as hell. 
I'm not a Nazi. I like white people, black Jesus, black Santa, black coffee. I'm not a racist. I like Hispanics and Negroes and Natives and Asians. Black power says I'm the problem. Girl power says I'm the issue. Gay rights think I'm trying to stop them. I'll let y'all trip and I'll get you some tissues. Y'all have been made to be villainous. I'm not the one setting fire to your villages. I'm not the man that is raping and pillaging. I do not care if my neighbors are immigrants. Maybe our whites look the same and you think that I'm somebody else. So it's cool. Honestly, I think that everyone looks alike if they aren't white. I'm sorry, it's true. <laughs> Whoa, okay. We're just gonna go back a little bit. Tom likes to do these, um, I was gonna say thought provoking, but that's not even it. He likes to, um, stir the pot, I guess. But he makes you think, right? I mean, he does what Junior Lucas does, except he does it while Junior Lucas, like, puts his spoon in the coffee and stirs the coffee. Tom McDonald sticks your coffee in the blender and turns the blender on. Okay, I am going to disagree right here. I mean... Both artists make controversial videos, right? Is there a huge difference in the delivery? I mean, you can't even say that Tom McDonald is more in your face, really. I mean, it's just a different style, right? I mean, Tom has made some really inspirational videos, um, like I Wish. I just, yes, you can compare the two artists when it comes to making controversial videos and thought-provoking videos. But as far as that goes... Um, they have completely different styles in how they make them and how they get their point across, right? And sometimes they tackle the exact same issue, right? I think Tom McDonald gets a lot more flack because he's a white artist. And he talks about things like in White Boy when he was talking about, hey, look, don't judge me because I'm white and, and don't call me a racist because of my skin color. I'm not. I, I don't, you know, that's not me. Don't lump me in with the racist white people. You know, learn how to tell us apart. Have a dialogue with us and find out who is and who isn't. Um, I think with Joyner, the difference between Joyner... And him is, Joyner is very clear, very clear. He makes it so clear that he wants to reach the most ignorant, stupid people out there. You ever heard the saying, look, just explain it to me like I'm a five-year-old. It's very big in the army. Look, just explain it to me like I'm a five-year-old, right? Basically saying, break it down to the simplest terms so that everyone can get it. And that's what Joyner does. I think Tom is more like, um, look, I'm just going to put it out there. I don't think he necessarily thinks about breaking it down to the simplest terms. And I think that's the difference between the two. Okay, I got white privilege, so I cannot fail. The world told me I'm evil stale. I break the lie, but I escaped the jail. My diet only mayonnaise and kale. I went to school and I paid my taxes. I used to grammar. I'm bad as hell. I'm not a Nazi. I like black people, black Jesus, black Santa, black coffee. I'm not a racist. I like Hispanics and Negroes and Natives and Asians. Black pa By the way, I hope you guys are realizing that he's actually playing the part. It's almost a parody of the straight white male. Yes, definitely straight white men have not only white privilege, but they have another privilege on top of them, which means they definitely do um, have pretty much all the power over everyone, over women, over the disenfranchised, you know, over everyone. So not only do they have white privilege, they have male privilege. And in this, in, in the words that he's saying, he's, he's basically being, it's basically a parody. He's saying all these things, not about himself, but about straight white men. And if you look at the jury, I just want to back this up a little bit. 
Look at the jury. You got this guy with his head flat. But this is the one I'm talking about. This guy right here with his hands out doing this. That I mean, that's the stereotypical, like, white male. Like, ugh, so disgusting. But it's so true. What makes it so outrageous and just disgusting to see is that it's so fucking true. I'm the problem. Yeah. Girl power says I'm the issue. Yeah. Gay rights think I'm trying to stop them. Ooh. I'll let y'all chip and I'll get you some tissues. Ah. Y'all have been mean to me villainous. I'm not the one setting fire to your villages. I'm not the man that is raping and pillaging. I do not care if my neighbors are immigrants. Maybe our whites look the same and you think that I'm somebody else. So it's cool. Honestly, I think that everyone looks alike if they ain't white. And I'm sorry, it's true. <laughs> Whoa, okay. We're just going to go back a little bit. Tom likes to do these, um, I was going to say thought-provoking, but that's not even it. He likes to um, stir the pot, I guess. Wait, didn't we already cover this part? Why are we going over this part again? I don't understand. It's his spoon in the coffee and stirs the coffee. Tom McDonald sticks your coffee in the blender and turns the blender on. Okay, I still disagree with this statement. Okay, I got white privilege, so I cannot fail. The world told me I'm evil stale. I break the law, but I escaped the jail. My diet only mayonnaise and kale. I went to school and I pay my taxes. I use the grammar, I'm bad as hell. I'm not a Nazi. I like black people, black Jesus, black Santa, black coffee. I'm not a racist. I like Hispanics and Negroes and Natives and Asians. Black power says I'm the problem. Girl power says I'm the issue. Gay rights think I'm trying to stop them. I'll let y'all chip and I'll get you some tissues. Y'all have been mean to me villainous. I'm not the one setting fire to your villages. I'm not the man that is raping and pillaging. I do not care if my neighbors are immigrants. Maybe our whites look the same and you think that I'm somebody else. So it's cool. Honestly, I think that everyone looks alike if they ain't white. And I'm sorry, it's true. <laughs> white male. I have it all, I'm the one that you love to hate Straight white man Please pull me over, I LOL in they face Straight white man Yes, I'm the blame for the life that you can't escape Straight white man It's so easy to be me, he 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 he, I'm feeling White male, I'm so frail. Mama gotta pay my bail. Shotguns and meth are both on sale. I'ma need to treat myself. I only listen to country music. I only marry my second cousins. I only cry when my team is losing. I blame everything on the blacks and the Muslims. Y'all blame me for building the system. Y'all blame me for wages. We're paying the women. Y'all blame me for rights to gay people not giving. You blame me for talking when I should just listen. You blame me the same me the place that we went in and hate me for slavery. And lately I'm tripping that daily. You shame me for having opinions on race and our country and everything in it. Fine. Y'all don't gotta be my friends. Y'all don't gotta like white men. Y'all don't gotta hold my hand. Y'all don't gotta have my back. Y'all don't gotta, y'all don't gotta, y'all don't gotta, uh. Y'all don't gotta see my side. Y'all don't gotta be down the ride. Y'all don't gotta do anything but ghost. And I'ma do me, even when it's the most. Yeah. Straight white man. I have it all, I'm the one that you love to hate. You're so basic. Yeah. You said that something, 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 and word retard Satan. Yeah. I can't believe the bullshit song lyrics that you're okay with. Kill yourself while live on Facebook. I want the notification. I don't care, y'all ain't right. I'll be praying that you die. I'll be doing my own thing. I hope you're happy with your life. You're a Nazi. You're a moron. You're a huge waste of my time. I'm just straight and white and male. I'm not the worst. I'm just a guy. Straight white man. You love to hate Straight white man Police pull me over I LOL in the face Straight white man Yes, I'm the blame for the life That you can't escape Straight white man It's so easy to be me He 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 I'm feeling great
Well, come on, bitch. Think of something to say. You can't just sit there and not say anything. Hello, you're recording. I don't know how to feel about this one. That's fair. I mean, every other video of his, I've had like an instant re reaction to, you know? But this one, I feel like he's mocking people. It's not that he's just trying to make a statement about a stereotype, you know? I mean, because the fact of the matter is that straight white men do have a privilege. Not only do they have white privilege, but then they also have another kind of privilege on top of that. Hey, I said that. What a smart lady. And... See, I, when he did White Boy, he at least was being socially conscious. He was basically saying, hey, don't hate me or think I'm racist because there are racist white people out there. He had a message in that. In this one, it just feels like he's mocking people. Yeah. Okay, so I obviously wasn't feeling well or thinking very clearly at the time. I mean, I can tell I'm disturbed by the video obviously, in this thing, but I, I obviously wasn't able to cognitively, because I wasn't feeling well, I had a high fever, I wasn't, and it was late in the day, so cognitively, I wasn't able to process the message and everything that was going on. I honestly don't know. I don't know where this came from, this one. I'm going to have to think on it, honestly. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to end it there because I'm going to put myself out of my own misery. So, now you know why it never got posted. Um, Not some of my best work. So, straight white male, this is what I think about it. I think, is he mocking people? Damn straight, he's mocking straight white men. Um, he has put in there every single, in his lyrics, he has put in every single bullshit thing that straight white men get away with. And even a couple things that they don't get away with, but people believe that they do. And then basically saying, again, not all of us are like that. Like Tom's saying, I know Tom's not like that. But at least he has enough awareness, social awareness, to know that, fuck yeah, these things do happen. Straight white men um, do think a certain way about other people. They do get certain privileges afforded to them that other people don't get. Now... Would straight white, white men watching this video get it? I think a few would. Um, if they're socially aware, if they're um, aware of themselves, if they're aware of the privileges that they've gotten in their lives due to that. But I think the majority won't. Because I think if you're raised in it, especially, especially if you live, if you're, upper middle class and over, and you're a straight white man, I think you wouldn't be aware of it. 
and you would probably be take offense to this video. But if you're a poor straight male and you haven't been afforded all of the advantages that that comes with, um, because you are actually part of um, the disenfranchised the the uh, lower socioeconomic class, so you're you have your own things to overcome, but even in even in that state, I'll give you an example: a straight white male walks into a car dealership to buy a car. Do you think that car salesman is going to be anything but straightforward with that man about you know the MSRP about what comes with a vehicle, about what rebates are out there, about financing, about all that kind of crap, okay? Now, a woman goes in there. We'll just say a straight white, white woman walks in there. Do you think she will get the same deal on the exact same car and afforded all the same things as that straight white male will? No. Now... A black man walks into the same, a straight black man walks into the same car dealership to buy that car. Do you think he's going to be treated the exact same way and afforded all the exact same things as that straight, not, I'm not even going to say the straight white man, but the white woman? No, because of white privilege. Now, the white straight male? Absolutely not, because not only white privilege, but the straight white male privilege. In fact, not only is he not going to get the same deal, he's going to be off the jump treated differently. Like, first, he's probably going to be treated like he's going to be shown the cheapest cars first, and he's going to say, no, I want this car. It might be a $42,000 car. Oh, well, can you afford that kind of, I need to see all kinds of check, paycheck stuff, blah, 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 blah. I mean, he's going to be, people are going to be condescending towards him. I mean, seriously. Now, let's add another factor in. A straight black female goes in there to buy a car. I could go on and on because now I could go on and add the LGBTQ into it. It's all, do, do you see the privilege now? Exactly. Thank you, Tom, for creating another socially conscious video that just smacks us in the face and says, that makes us say, wake the fuck up. Look, this is what's going on. I applaud you, as I always do. So, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And what else? Yes, damn straight. Take care of each other, because no one else is going to. Ciao.